Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a highly anticipated, highly requested video and that is Hazlyn's room tour, our baby girl's room tour. Um, I went with a more bohemian type room, kind of a little farmhouse in here. It's so pretty. I am obsessed. I love it. It is literally my favorite room in the whole house. Yeah, I really took my time putting everything together. That's why it took me so long to get this video up because I really took my time with it. I just wanted it to be perfect um, and meaningful and it really is. So I'm so excited to share it with you guys finally. And for those of you who are new, my name is Samantha and I am a mama of three boys but currently 35 weeks pregnant with my baby girl. And I am due to have uh, my fourth C-section here in a couple weeks. They are not sure if they're gonna deliver her at 38 weeks or 39 weeks. So it could be three or four weeks now that she'll be here, which I'm so excited. I cannot believe I'm having a baby girl. I still can't believe I'm having a baby girl. Anyway, I was so excited to just like decorate and put together a baby girl's nursery. And my baby girl at that, like, I can't believe I'm having a girl. I don't think it'll actually like, sink in that I'm having a girl until she's born because I still don't even believe it. I look at her room and her closet and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm having a girl. It's just crazy um, after being a boy mom for so long. Anyway, um, I did want to mention too is that I packed my hospital bag. I will definitely be having a what's in my hospital bag and what's in the baby's bag video up very, very soon, probably next week. So anyway, Let's get started with baby girl's room. I will try to link everything I can in the description box below, so be sure to check that out if you're interested in anything. Um, and yeah, let's get started. First of all, this room is pretty big. Probably the same size as our bedroom, maybe a little bit smaller, but um, yeah, it's definitely one of the bigger rooms in the house. I asked Brantley if he wanted to be in here, but he still wanted to share with his brother, so that left um, Hazlyn with this room, which is gonna be perfect because she's on this side of the house and the boys are on the other side of the house. I think she'll appreciate this when she gets a little older. Um, but anyway, so let's go ahead and do a, a full room tour, you guys. Okay, so here's the door when you first walk in and then right here um, to the left is, this is her wishy wall slash pop-up wall. Um, so my dad passed away five years ago and a thing between him and I were dandelions we called them wishies and it's just really really special to me to have this piece in here because it just reminds me of him and um you know i was his daughter and this is my daughter's room i just wanted to add like just something special like that and sweet in um her room um, but i got these decals these are just like decals i got them off amazon i saw a bunch on etsy too but I ended up just ordering them off Amazon and they are so pretty. They were really easy to put on. Brantley helped me actually. And yeah, you just kind of place them wherever you want. So I think it turned out good and I'm really happy with it. Um, the wall color in here, we left. We didn't paint uh, the wall color in here. The color it was and I think it looks fine. It's sort of like a light 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 tan okay so then over here we just have the rocking chair which is actually just part of our sofa from downstairs um when we moved into this house we took our basement furniture and brought it upstairs and so there really is not really a space for it downstairs or i just don't like it downstairs so i actually had it in gunner's room and i still rock him in this chair but um now we brought it over here to hazen's room and we put like a little tp tent in his room now but um, yeah, so this is the rock, rocking chair slash, it's just like a recliner. <laughs> um, and I for, I have no idea where it's from. I think Ashley Furniture years and years and years ago. Um, but like I said, it, it's in really good shape because it was in our basement and we hardly were in there in our old house, so. Um, but the pillow is from Amazon. It says, my girl. Um, the actual pillowcase is from Amazon and then the pillow inside is from Amazon as well. And then this blush, um, throw is from target and it was very inexpensive it was like eight dollars or something like that um, but i've seen it go as low as like 6.99 or six dollars 5.99 even it's perfect it fits the room the colors love these little like pom-pom things on the end too they're just super cute but yeah they have a bunch of colors 
Um, this little foot rest or poof is from Target as well. I actually had a different thing here. It was like a stool um, that had like knitted like crochet type thing on it. But I ended up seeing this at Target and I just had to have it. I thought it would look so much better. So I returned the other thing and I got this from Target. I don't know if they're, they still have this or sell this anymore, but I just love all of like the bohemian type um, of like touches it has to it and the tassels and all that. It just really goes with her room perfectly. And then over here we just have, this is from um, Target as well. It's just a white um, pillow fort hamper. So that's her little hamper or basket, but I'm using it as her hamper. Now for this wall over here, this wall is actually contact paper that we bought off Amazon. And one night Kyle and I just had like a date night in here and we just like went all out and did this. And it was like um, stickers. So it was like sticky and um, fairly easy, I would say. Yeah, the reason why we did this was because I wanted like a wood wall, but I didn't know how it would look or how everything would turn out. So I just decided that like if we didn't like it, you can just peel it right off. So that is the wall over here. It's just the whole wall is just this wood looking um, contact paper. So and I think it turned out really good. This mirror right here is actually um, from Target. So it's just from the Project 62 line from Target. And it has like the gold trim, which I love. And then this floral um, or not floral. This greenery right here is actually Hearth and Hand uh, Magnolia. So that was from that line from Target. And I just like draped it across the mirror and I think it looks really pretty over here. I just love it. The shelf over here is actually from um, Hobby Lobby and we had it and we just hadn't like put it up or anything anywhere. And so I thought this would look good here because we didn't have a spot for it. Um, so like I said, the sh actual shelf is from Hobby Lobby and then this little you are my sunshine wooden sign that is from TJ Maxx and then my sister got Hazel in like these little Ugg um, shoes and I just have those up here. They're so cute. Um, but anyway, I just put those up there and then this little piggy bank I got from Target and I loved it because it's like a little pig with some golden wings and I loved that. And then down here, I just have all her, like, bath, after bath, changing stuff, anything I'm going to need when I change her. So I got my hand purifier. This is all Young Living um, line, the seedlings line. That's what I use for all my kids. I am, like, all about natural products and all that. So um, I don't like to use anything harsh, especially on a newborn, newborn skin. So um, we have the hand sanitizer, hand purifier for me after I'm done, and then some baby lotion, diaper cream, linen spray, and baby oil. That's what I'll be using on her, and then I just have this little plant back here. I wanna say I got that at the dollar store. It's old, it came from like a different spot in the house, and I just threw it over here. Um, and then the H, I think I got that at Target, and then we painted it white. The boys and I painted it white. So that is her shelf. And then down here, we just have three hooks. They're like gold with this like marble detail, almost like a little bit of a glitter in it or a shimmer. Um, but these are from Target too. They're from the Project 62 line. And then I just decided to hang these up. I used one nail for each of them. And then um, I just hang, hung some bows here. Lots of bows. Bows there. Well, some of them. We have a ton of bows. But those are just some of her bows. And then over here on the changing table, this dresser from Overstock and then I actually changed out all of the knobs. I made them gold but they are, the knobs are from Amazon and then like I said the dresser is from Overstock and then the changing pad we already had from all three of the other kids but I did get this um, changing pad cover and this is her theme I guess you could say um, but it's the floral design. I forget what exactly it's called but it's from the brand Little Unicorn. I think it is so pretty and subtle and I love it. Um, and then we just have her diffuser right here. And then this is a Hatch Baby um, nightlight slash um, sound machine. So we have that there. And I'll show you guys what's in the drawers too in a second. 
So in the drawers here, I just have like all her sleeper, sleeper gowns. These are all of her bows. <laughs> There's so many, but we have tons of bows. Um, and then in this drawer, we just have her pants um, and then socks. And I got these organizers from Ikea like a long time ago. Um, so we just had some extra, so I put them in here. These are extra sheets and blankets, and I use these like um, smaller pad things for diaper changes like around the house and not when we're not in here changing her like on the changing pad so that nothing gets on like the couch or wherever we are or on the bed like in the middle of the night I'll change her on the bed and I'll just like lay one of these out so nothing gets on the bed um so that's a little tip because it works so well especially with boys I'm not sure about girls because I've never had a girl yet but um, I feel like the boys would always just pee every time I took their diaper off and so this helped a ton to just have this out and it's just really convenient. Okay so then in this top drawer this is like all of her diapers and wipes. Um, so I have just a ton of diapers. We use the Honest Company and then I have in here seedlings wipes and then water wipes too. I'll probably use water wipes in the beginning and um, then switch over to the seedlings wipes and then in here. Right now I have everything in like a diaper caddy type thing that I'm gonna have downstairs, but I will put in here like the thermometer and nail clippers and all that stuff in here after I'm done. Cause I won't be able to keep coming upstairs um, in the beginning just because I'm having a C-section. So I really won't be able to keep coming up the stairs. So I just took everything out of here, put it in the little caddy, which I'll do a video on that too. But anyway, so that's what's in there. And then in this one, we just have other stuff, burp cloths, bibs, um, these like swaddle things. These are from the boys, but I don't know if she's going to like them, so I didn't want to get her any one specifically. Um, but then we have some white onesies, lots of white onesies. And then down here, this is just some extra stuff, a couple extra blankets, and um, a different boppy cover, another burp cloth, and like another, what is this doing in here? That's not supposed to be in there. That's from Gunner. Gunner goes through these drawers all the time. This is like a sleep sack thing, but that's for when she gets bigger. So yeah, that's everything in there. So moving on to this little corner. This is like one of my favorite things. I love this little corner. This is like her little reading nook. It's just so pretty. And I really wanted a teepee here, but I decided to just get this canopy because it was so much cheaper. It was like $20 first like 80 so I just went ahead and grabbed this um, the canopy is actually from Amazon these lights I actually had in our bedroom from Christmas and I just put them on here and I thought it looked so cute and then um, pillows um, th this one we already had this one right here the blush one is from Target and I got it on sale for really reasonable um, this one is from home goods and this rug is from the pillow fort line at target and it's just like a white cream type um rug and i love it i think it looks so cozy over here and then this basket there's just a couple books in here that she has gotten and a couple that the boys had but they're like more baby books so i just put them in here this little um basket is from the target dollar spot and we actually were using it for some of our homeschool stuff but we really didn't need it for that so i took the homeschool stuff out and put them put that stuff somewhere else and then i used this for her books so yeah just a couple books in there and then over here this little um like play gym thing is from amazon it's really simple just has a couple toys on it like all wooden toys and this sloth um mat is from my niece who was actually her godmother but she got her this for Christmas and I just think it's so cute so I just put it over here we can lay her down there sometimes right now because obviously she won't be sitting here reading any books anytime soon so moving on to the curtains the curtains are from Target and they're just like a white sheer um, and then they have these like tassels on the sides and I just love it it adds to the the like bohemian um, touch and then I only got the sheer ones because these blinds are actually blackout blinds so you can choose to have them the way they are now or you can slide this part up and it'll be completely 
dark in here. So like pitch black. <laughs> so I didn't need like super dark cur curtains or anything because this is already going to be super dark. And then this curtain rod I got from Target. It's the Project 62 line. And I love it. The gold. I love the gold. And I love how it just ties in with everything. Right here, we just have this basket, which I got off Amazon. And this faux um, snake plant type thing. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> um, but the plant is from Marshall's. And it was very reasonable. I was looking on Amazon and it was much more reasonable for me to get it at uh, Marshall's. And then, like I said, the basket is from Amazon. So right here above the plant, I just have this macrame dream catcher, which I got from TJ Maxx. Again, very inexpensive. I looked on Amazon. I looked other places, all of which were so expensive. So when I found this at J Maxx for $16, I was like, yes, and it's really big. This wall's really big. I'm thinking over here, I might end up putting like a picture of her um, or my one of my pregnancy um, pictures over here. But I haven't decided yet because I just feel like I don't want to overpower the room. Like I feel like there's so much in here already and I just feel like it looks perfect right now. And if I add anything, it's just gonna be like too much. Um, so over here, this is her closet, which I'll get to in a second. Um, right here is just an Ubi um, diaper pail. And then right here is our internet um, thing, which we're going to actually move. We haven't yet, but she's not going to be in here for a little while anyway. So we're just going to leave it there for right now. But we are going to move that. We're not going to keep it there. And then here is her crib and rug um, on this wall. And the rug is from Pillow Fort uh, at Target. It's like a light pink rug. And it matches really well in here. And it was very inexpensive. Um, and then this crib skirt. I actually can't remember where I got it. I actually just searched like on Google for tassel um, crib skirts. And I found this one. So I grabbed this. I can't remember where I got it. But like I said, I'll leave... A link for it below if I can find where I got it from. A crib we got from overstock.com and the sheets are the same as the changing table. They are the little unicorn um, sheets and then I just have right here a boppy lounger, her docketot, and this is the same pillow that was over at the canopy. Um, I have two of those and like I said I got those pillows from Target on sale. Um, the monitor we already had. It's a summer infant, but it's really old. Um, at least five years old, and they don't have that same exact one anymore. This blanket right here is actually Hazlin's, um, like, blankie. All the kids have the same blankie made by Buddha Babe. And hers is, of course, Dandelions. <laughs> so, um, I grabbed that for her. It's like I said, all the kids have the same blanket. These blankets are so soft. Um, but my boys use theirs all the time. They like to make forts with it and do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, but anyway, so up here, this macrame little like banner thing is from Amazon. and has like wooden beads on it. I just love it. I think it looks so pretty below the sign. And the sign is from an Instagram shop, which I'll leave below. I think it's called like Tucker... Oh, I forget, but I'll leave it below so you guys can check it out. But Kyle picked out the wood color and then the name color, the fonts. He picked all this out because I was so indecisive about what to do. And finally, I was just like, can you just pick? And so he picked it out and I'm so happy with it. I think it looks great. I love it. Right next to her crib over here, I just had this basket already. And I just put all of her blankets and swaddles um, in here. Two little loveys the unicorn and the bunny so I put those in here as well I don't remember where this was in the house this basket but I used it for her room and I think it matches really good and goes really good with her room so last but not least I have this pottery barn chandelier I had to have this I saw it on um, Pinterest and I had to have that that was one thing I really wanted for her room and I absolutely love it. 
I just turned it off because it's hard to see it um, with the lighting, but it looks so good in her room. It's very bohemian and I just, I seriously love it so much. That is her chandelier. So in here, in this closet, this is her closet. There is a lot of like, this is all like school stuff and office stuff because this was an office. Um, so all the school stuff, office stuff is in here. Has some homeschool stuff up there. Um, so she's currently sharing her closet with all of our office and homeschool stuff, but um, I'm hoping to get that out eventually, but um, not in any hurry or anything. There's plenty of space in here right now, uh, more than we need right now, so we're fine. But yeah, so up here on the wall, my brother and sister-in-law got me this sign. It says, Pretty in Pink, Dangerous in Camo. This little um, hooks thing we had already, and these are all of my carriers. I baby wear a lot, so I have a lot of carriers. Um, this is a Sully baby. This is a tuck and bundle, and then I have two ringslings, and then I have a little baby, like structured carrier for when she gets a little older. And then this is the headband I wore at my shower, and what I'll wear for my maternity photos coming up. Right here on the floor, this is our car seat comes in like two days, so I have to. This is all the car seat stuff, like the mirror, um, a little toy for her car seat, and then I have the um, what is this? The I forget what this is called. It's like a bundle me thing. It's like a warm um, thing for her um, that the boys had actually too that I'm going to use on her seat. And so all that's in there just because I have to, I'm going to put it all on the seat and put, get it all together um, after that comes in like two days. Like I said, all this is like school office stuff. And then right here we just have diapers and wipes and a couple extra hangers. And then... Over here is like her side. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff over here. Um, her clothes and baskets full of stuff. Some stuff I need like for postpartum. Um, in this basket, this is all like stuff that doesn't fit her yet. This is like my postpartum basket with like pads and all that kind of stuff for me after I have her. The sign that I was going to put up in here, but I'm not anymore. Um, that's actually a couple of things I need to return. My breast pump. This is all of my like milk storage bags, um, breast milk stuff basically, <laughs> and stuff that I'll need like my um, nursing pads, all that. And then I have right here just her little blooming baby bath um, flower thing. There's just an extra blanket, um, some toys. This is a winter hat and then another car seat cover. And in here is like all of her bath towels and washcloths and then in here we just have some extra binks and diaper rash cream and then i have back here like her her monthly her monthly like stickers and all that for when i take her pictures every month this one right here has like shoes some of the some of them are from the boys but i'm thinking she might be able to wear some of those these are a couple extra bows not many. These are just some extra blankets that were the boys. Here I have my um, Banksy baby um, for the shopping cart and then I have like a clutch for um, my car which I'm going to fill up and put that in my car and leave it in my car. I always like to have like a change of clothes, diapers, and wipes in the car especially with a newborn. And then up here is all her clothes. And um, I got these little things off Amazon too. So this is like, so this is like zero to three months, three to six months, and then, and then six to nine months. But most of the stuff that's six months or bigger, I just have in this basket down here. Um, and then right here, I had gotten this um, Honest Company like clutch thing, like a whole kit of like changing extra changing stuff has the changing pad all that so I could put that one in my cart too I haven't decided yet this is like her sentimental stuff memory stuff so we have in here just like cards um from my sprinkle and my pregnancy test and um ultrasound pictures things like that that I'm going to keep forever for her in here and then we have violet up there and then in here this is actually just a bunch of silicone bibs this one is 
um, some other extra stuff like feeding stuff and um, I think like one toy let me see like a bunch of things in here that I'm actually um, I ordered off my registry just because I got um, the discount and I'm actually gonna end up using some of that stuff for her Easter basket yeah that's her closet the baskets are all from well all these baskets and these baskets are from Target and even this one's from Target this one's from Target this is old though um, and then these baskets are just random <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. Like I said, I will have links for everything I can in the description box below, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you a part of our YouTube family here, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Every day something